Hello everyone, this is Donna Rashford. I'm here with a tutorial on how to create a Bitmoji scene. This Bitmoji scene can be used as a Google Classroom header. You can use it on your Microsoft Teams Classroom. You can use it on your website or um, you can also add it to any Google Slides that you're sending out your, to your students. You can change the text on your whiteboard to give shout outs. Um, you can put instructions on there, whatever you want. So here we go. First thing you're going to do is open up Google Slides. Then you're going to click file. You're going to go to page setup and the size if you're going to do it as a header for Google Classroom is 16.67 by 4.17. 16.67 by 4.17. And then you click apply. <clears throat> so the next thing you're going to do is make sure it's a blank slide. If there's any text boxes or anything on there, you're going to delete those. Then you're going to insert a background. So you're going to click um, background choose image you're going to click google image search and you're going to type in, type in floor wall background pick the one that you like click insert So now you have a floor wall background. After you do that, you're going to find images to be your uh, background. So you're going to click to be your uh, furniture and things for your scene. You're going to click insert image, search the web, and then you're going to type in names for different things you want to put on there. So let's say you want um, a couch. And make sure that you put transparent <clears throat> background. This will make sure that when you insert the picture of the couch, there's not white behind it. You find a couch that you like, click insert, and you can change the size of your couch to make it fit the size that you want it to be. Then, of course, you are going to probably want to insert your your teacher classroom whiteboard. So I'm just going to erase couch. And you'll find one that you want for your class. Um, and you can do a chalkboard as well. I've seen some people put chalkboards in there. So maybe you want to put a chalkboard. I don't know, whatever floats your boat. So there's my chalkboard. <clears throat> the only thing is if you put a chalkboard, when you put your text, let me show you. You insert, press the, you either click the T or you click insert text box. And so I'm going to put my text box right here. Then I'm going to type, welcome to Then you're going to change the font to a font that you prefer. I like, I like a uh, Montserrat centric Gothic shadows into the light. So let's try shadows into the light and then I'm going to make it a larger size so they can see it better. And I'm going to position it a little bit different so I want Miss Ratchford's class to be on a different line size it up really good okay and then since it's a chalkboard and chalk is normally white I'm going to change the color so I'm going to click this little a where it says text color and I'm going to make it white and um, there you go and you know this font is it's not as bold so you can bold it to make it you know better seen or you can just change the you know the font 
to something that's a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> and next, I might put a little table. Insert a little table. Because that's, you know, something cute. And I've seen people put little um, laptops and things in their picture. And if you're an art teacher, maybe you put an easel. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, so this. And so one trick is if you find a picture like this that has a uh, white background, you're going to, you'll save that picture to your computer. And then there's a website called um, remove.bg. You upload that image to uh, the website. Hold on, let me see. I'll show you an example. Uh, and then it'll remove whatever's behind it. So I found this uh, little shelf when I was looking for stuff. So a uh, wall shelf. I think it's cute. So if you have anything on your computer, you can click insert image and then upload it from your computer. So I do have some things that I've already found for previous things. So maybe I'll put those onto the, so I'll put the shelf. We'll just leave it at that and see how it's, there's no background on here. I can put the little shelf on the wall. Okay. And that's, that's good for now. Then you're going to insert your Bitmoji. If you're on a Chromebook, you need to download the Bitmoji Chrome extension. And if you're not, then I think you need to just uh, try to save your Bitmoji. You find one that you like. You probably want to find one. So I already saved one of me, of my Bitmoji just sitting. So I'm going to put my sitting Bitmoji into the picture. <clears throat> Oops. Put it where you want it. And there you go. And this is just a basic one. You can make it as cute as you want. And um, so you can get a little crazy with it. I kind of got a little overboard. And uh, so I have this bookshelf and I, wa I wanted the bookshelf to be behind the couch. So if you want to move something behind something, then you can um, click the image, click arrange, order, and then click send to back. So that's how you move something to the back. <clears throat> so you may want to add other things in your background. So that's how you uh, make it. And then you just save that as a P uh, PDF I mean, I'm sorry, as a JPEG or a PNG, and then you can insert it into your Google Classroom. I hope this helps, and just let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye, and enjoy your Bitmoji.